Morning, everyone. Uh, it's Tuesday morning, the 9th of March, and this is your pre-opening comment. It is video number 663. And again, I remind you, if you like the work, please hit that subscribe button. It helps support the cause. Okay, so this morning we had Jim Grant on. He's the uh, head of Grant Interest Rate Advisor, somebody I listen to all the time. And he thinks that the, quote, value proposition on owning bonds uh, is pretty much non-existent. Uh, you don't get paid any, in real interest rates, you don't get paid anything when you take out inflation, transient or not. Uh, and he says it's more appropriate to borrow at three and a quarter to buy a home than it is to own the bonds. Okay, Stitch Fit, last night I mentioned it. Uh, it missed top and bottom, swung to a loss and gave poor guidance. Uh, and the stock is trading in the same area, actually a little lower than last night. Last night's video, it was 53.30 down 19 and change. Now it's 52.70, so it's down about 20 bucks or 27%. Uh, Discount Airline Frontier, uh, which tried to go public last year uh, and pulled their uh, statement is again filing for the IPO. Uh, Pfizer's vaccine seems to work uh, as they put it in the Journal of New England Medicine. Uh, it actually uh, eliminates uh, the Brazil variant, uh, which is one of the prevalent ones. And uh, so uh, you know, I don't expect to see much from Pfizer. As I've mentioned in the past, the stock is lower than when they came out with their uh, initial vaccine with its high efficacy. Uh, the stock ran to 42. It's trading around 34 in high change. Uh, another one that I mentioned uh, yesterday and uh, its eyes, E-Y-E-S, second sight is the name of the company and they have a um, device that helps people who previously could not see to see uh, the stock is 1970 up 793 it actually came from about two dollars in uh, last starting last thursday or friday uh, acadia notices of deficiencies from the FDA on their dementia drug. Uh, the stock is trading right around where it was last night. Uh, it uh, was uh, 27.99 and that was uh, down uh, $21 or 43%. Today it's trading 25.11 uh, down 20.71. So that one's just not getting any better. Uh, Peloton uh, going into Australia, first venture in that part of the world. Uh, the Zoom CEO and founder transferred $6 billion worth of stock for estate planning to, quote, unspecified beneficiaries. So I'm sure we'll hear about that. Um, you know, there are plenty of reasons to uh, distribute stock and clearly uh, estate planning is one of the valid ones. So I really can't find any fault with that. Uh, but it is interesting that a company that wasn't around a couple of years ago that the CEO and founder can dispose of $6 billion worth of stock and still maintain a position. Uh, Dick's Sporting Goods beat top and bottom line, but uh, their guidance for the rest of the year was soft, and the stock is trading 7016, down 652, 8.5%. Casey's General Store, same situation, beat top and bottom. This one is only down $2 at 200 even down 221 or just 1%. Uh, okay, Asia in Europe are both mixed this morning. And the chart on the screen 
is the gold. And uh, as I mentioned last night uh, and yesterday morning that uh, Dennis's uh, Fibonacci retracement moves were right in that area. I believe the number was uh, 1684. Uh, yesterday's low turned out to be 1673. And this morning we are uh, up 26 back here at 1703, 1704. Uh, this is a flagging out formation. Usually when they reverse, uh, we get a substantial pop. Uh, last night I told you I was looking for a pop in this anyway, as was Dennis. Uh, so uh, it wouldn't surprise me to see it's 1750, up another 50 bucks from where it is right now. Uh, in other futures, we have the uh, that, uh, the uh, Bitcoin coming right to the top of that same area through the highs at uh, 52,875, 53,000. Um, the high close was 53,000 change. So uh, while it is through and up testing the highs, let's remember that's the same thing that happened here. It's the same thing that happened here. And uh, I'm not willing to play this one until I see a close outside that range. Uh, as far as the rest of it, the market is higher. The Dow, which has continued up to new highs every day, is currently up another 110. NASDAQ, which has gotten pummeled, is now up 270, and the S&P is up 3465. Um, I gave you a list last night and told you that I felt every single one of these stocks was uh, oversold, low RSIs, at support, ready for a bounce, and really extended. Uh, just to go over that list, it was Google, Amazon, Apple, Facebook, uh, Baba, and Microsoft, and uh, they are all up substantially. Uh, Google is up about 80, Amazon is up about uh, 40, uh, Apple is up a couple of bucks, and, uh, you know, I think we clearly are going to have a bounce here. Uh, and the bonds are also helping today for the first time in a while. Uh, they are up a little over a point right now. Uh, the high was 58 and change. It's 52.25. Those are 30 seconds. So uh, as you can see, it's kind of the same liquidation that the gold had uh, as the bonds came down and rates moved higher. So this is what this is the opposite of what the chart on rates would look like. It would show, you know, uh, this type of a move. Anyway, <clears throat> that's where we are, and uh, I still think some of these stocks have a long way to go, especially the work-from-home stocks. COVID is not over. Things are better, but the variants are expanding at a greater rate than the original virus, so that's something to watch out for. All right, everyone, have a good day and uh, be careful out there because we could just as easily open up again as we have a couple of times in the NASDAQ and turn right back down. I don't think that that's what's coming, but, you know, that's what you got to be aware of. All right, everyone, have a good day.